This is lab number 11, simple harmonic motion. The setup for this lab, you're going to go ahead and once again take a table clamp, clamp it to the table with an upright support. Your cross support this time is going to be this. Make sure that it has at least one of these knobs out on the end as that's where you're going to attach your spring and your strain for your pendulum. So you're going to attach it here. When you choose a spring, be sure to choose a spring that looks more like this rather than one that looks like this. These springs have had their spring constant overwhelmed. They don't have a, a continual spring constant in them, and you're going to get bad results. So you want to use a good spring. You're going to go ahead and attach the spring here, and then you're going to hang your 50 gram mass hanger from the bottom. You will add mass as dictated in the lab, but when you're actually doing the oscillations for this, hold down like this and release, okay? Do not, I repeat, do not stretch this thing as far as it will go. That is how you get springs ending up looking like this. You're only going to move it a short amount away from its equilibrium point and allow it to oscillate like this. Now, once it is oscillating, give it a little bit of time to achieve a steady rate of oscillation before you begin your timing. And then you're going to go ahead and start from a certain point, such as when it reaches the bottom of its oscillation. I'm going to add some mass to this in order to make the oscillations a little bit easier to see. So again, you're going to displace it ever so slightly and allow it to start to get into a regular rhythm and then start one, two, three, four, five. I stopped at five. Be sure that the, that the mass oscillates through an entire period and count that. Do not start from a different point, as in do not say one, two, three, because then you only have two cycles instead of three. Be very aware of this. Once you've removed the spring, the next thing that you're going to do is set up a simple pendulum. First, you want to go ahead and cut your string so that it is a little bit longer than one and a half meters. This will give you enough string to play around with as you go about making your pendulum. Once again, you're going to attach one end to your cross support. The other end is going to have your 50 gram mass hanger on it. The length of your pendulum will be measured from where this attaches on your cross support to the bottom of your 50 gram mass hanger. Keep that in mind as you go through the lab. You should be able to make adjustments to the length of the pendulum simply by undoing the knob and pulling the loose end of the string. For the pendulum, you'll be doing three different things. You will be changing the mass, you will be changing the length, and you will be changing the angle of your pendulum. For the first portion, changing your mass, that's relatively easy. Just add extra masses to the mass hanger as is dictated in the lab manual. Changing the angle is going to be dictated by having a meter stick or two meter stick where you've got the pendulum hanging over a zero point and then the displacement is going to be a certain number of centimeters away from that zero point. Changing the height, as I said earlier, is going to be by pulling the loose end of the string to get the entire length of your pendulum from the bottom of your mass to where your string is attached to be the length that you want it to be. For example, now we are at a pendulum length of one meter. Timing for the pendulum is similar to that of the spring in that as you move it to the side you want to allow it to get into a steady rhythm before you hit the start button and you're also going to want to measure from the same point each time. For example every time it gets to the maximum displacement is one cycle. So allowing it to get into a rhythm and then Start, one, two, three, 
four, and stop, five. 